It's been nearly six months since 10-year-old Anthony Avalos was found dead at his Lancaster home. His mom, Heather Barron, and her boyfriend, Kareem Leva, are both charged in his murder and accused of torturing him. On Monday, unsealed court documents revealed the couple allegedly whipped Avalos with a belt and looped cord, poured hot sauce on his face, and held him by his feet and dropped him on his head repeatedly. Prosecutors say the couple withheld food from him, denied him access to the restroom, slammed him into furniture, and would encourage the other kids in the house to hurt him. At one point, prosecutors say Avalos couldn't walk, was unconscious lying on the floor for hours, and was never given medical attention. The system failed Anthony! Protesters have spoken out against the L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services handling of this case. DCFS was called out to Avalos' house several times, but claims of physical abuse were never corroborated, even though neglect was suspected. In a prior press conference, attorney Brian Claypool took aim at the department. There were 18 separate investigations by DCFS of this household. This is not a case of the social workers are overworked. This is a case of flat out deliberate indifference toward the life of Anthony Avalos. Anthony's dad previously flew out from Mexico to demand answers from DCFS. I wish I could hug him right now, but it's just, you know, we have to get this done, you know, so it's, it's hard. And Anthony's uncle, who he had stayed with sometimes, believes he died as a result of DCFS incompetence. He wanted to be something. He wanted to be a policeman or a fireman when he grew up. He's not going to get that opportunity because the system failed him. And Avalos was found dead at his Lancaster house this past June. His mom, Heather Barron, and her boyfriend, Renee Leva, are both facing murder charges with an enhancement for inflicting torture. They have both pleaded not guilty to those charges. Meanwhile, prosecutors are looking at giving them potentially the death penalty if they end up being convicted. But guys, hard to think of a, a more brutal and horrific case than this one, especially involving such a young kid. We've heard some horrific details come out in this. I hadn't heard about hot sauce on the face and the eyes before. And what the attorney, Claypool, said, there, there may be some major questions here about a failure of oversight. And that's exactly what they're talking about in that major. previous press, con uh, press conference. And again, that's why prosecutors are going to be looking at potentially the death penalty, that enhancement for torture. It's not just murder. Yeah. It's what, what happened before that. And so. we know Lieva's attorney did not want those documents yep. unsealed. Yep. All right, Bill. Thanks much.